Government has declared a red alert on all forms of illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing in Ghana's waters. Senior Minister Dr. Yao Osafumafo says the action has become necessary as the fishing industry is nearing collapse. Addressing fisher folk and researchers at the Fishers Conference here in Accra, the Senior Minister stressed the practice where fishermen brazenly defy laws on illicit fishing must stop. Joe News' Adelaide Arthur has more. Light fishing and the use of dynamite and monofilament nets to harvest fish are common practices in Ghana's waters, even though it is against the law. Fishermen say they've had to adopt these illicit methods due to the decline in fish stocks. Ironically, researchers in the fisheries sector blame the depletion of the stock on the harmful practices. Senior Minister Yao Osafumafu explains the red alert has become necessary to reverse the situation. The Galamse of the land were destroying the rivers, were destroying the forest reserves, were destroying our virgin lands and everything, and our farms. Yours perhaps is worse. You are destroying the fish, you are destroying the future of industry, you are destroying all those who earn their living through processing, through fishing. You are destroying the source of our protein. Those of you who are doing it right should help us. It's not a question of being your brother or being your sister. It's a question of sustaining the industry. We can't allow this net to be used under any circumstance. And we should have the system to stamp it out. Let people be punished legally for using these nets. Deputy Mission Director of USAID, Stephen E. Hendricks, believes responsible fishing practices are necessary to ensure that fish harvested is safe for consumption. By developing responsible fishing practices, as well as reporting and preventing illegal fishing, together we can safeguard livelihoods and protect the declining fish stocks in the seas. This is where our partnership with the University of Cape Coast and the University of Rhode Island is striving to make a difference. Ensuring adequate nutrition among the most vulnerable households along the coastline can ensure the stability and prosperity of Ghana. Fish remains an extremely important protein in Ghana. It makes perhaps 60 or 70 percent of the animal food protein supply in the average Ghanaian's diet. We want to ensure that fish we consume is healthy, free from contamination, and good for consumption. The Center for Coastal Management of the University of Cape Coast, which organized the conference, says they brought together stakeholders in the industry to deliberate on strategies that can help save the fisheries sector, which experts say is in crisis. Revamping the stocks through sustainable management efforts, considering inputs and output controls and other technical measures, including a closed season and enclosed areas in collaboration with neighboring countries. Senior Minister, it is proposed, therefore, that government should consider collaborating with other coastal countries in the Gulf of Guinea to acquire a research vessel. According to the senior minister, the legislative instrument that will allow the establishment of a coastal development authority has been submitted to parliament for consideration. Establishment of the development authority is expected to boost the economy and create employment in the four coastal regions.